So in this video we're going to take on remote control which is anything from internal applications of polycarb to external plastic applications such as remote control helicopters. Um, we're going to talk about paints that you use and we're going to talk about application and how to actually get the paint to stick products in masking before we get into the painting. So hang around watch it all, it's very important you do. So first of all the body itself, this is a polycarb body, it comes clear as you guys know. And the manufacturer wants you to wash them out with soapy water. Well, have you ever known paint to want to stick to soap? Don't do this. It, all it does is it allows the paint to not adhere correctly. You, you get a whack against the wall and you start seeing paint peeled off. So how do you avoid that? Well, all the professionals do this. You sand your bodies with 600 grit wet and dry on the inside. Okay, so basically, except for the windows themselves. So everywhere else, and then you would dry that out and then you would wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol. Do not use wax and grease remover, you're just putting grease back onto the product. So isopropyl alcohol will get it nice and clean. So as far as the scratches are concerned, you'll see them obviously before you paint. When you paint, those scratches disappear completely. As you can see, we've already done the Autoweek Colors logo on this particular unit. So what about paints? What will stick to polycarbonate? Well, AutoWare Colors will, Wicked Colors will, and Createx Illustration Colors will, and you can back them up with the Autoborn Sealers as the undercoat. That would how you would paint it in reverse. Leave the Createx Colors alone, they are designed for fabric work. Okay, so anything from the other ranges works perfectly fine on this, including the chromes, the candy dyes, all that sort of thing. So now let's talk about what are we going to do as far as masking is concerned. Well, as you can see, there's this blue film in here, and then there's the paper mask. So, what will we use? So, for masking up designs, I use a 3M green automotive masking tape, really clean, super good lines. Now, as far as the, the paper adhesive, this is auto mask, all this is on the website. This is a, a masking film in which is paper on one side and a low tack adhesive on the other. So you can use it to mask up areas that you don't want paint to get onto when you're painting out a graphic. The other thing is you can put it down on a cutting mat and you can draw on it with a pencil and you can cut out your design and stick it on the inside. Remember to cut it out in reverse because that's the way it'll go when you put it on the inside. Okay, so that's a very handy product to have. And then we've got sign mask. Now sign mask, we sell it by the five metal lengths. It's a product designed for the signage industry and they can be put through a cutter and you can cut different designs out of it. You can use it as a frisket film so you can hand cut your designs on this drawer on it and hand cut and transfer it to it as well. We've had a design cut out and that has been uh, a flame design ready to go. So you can personalise your shelves. So let's get into some painting. <laughs> 